Hello, hi, welcome to another no code tutorial. My name is Paul. Uh, I'm, I build stuff with no code and I also teach founders how to do the same. So today I'm not going to be showing you how to build anything. Yeah, I'm not going to be showing you how to build anything. But today I'm going to be showing you how to launch your no code application eight ways. Yeah, this five. Eight ways to launch your no code application. You know, a lot of time you really focus on building your no-code application, you know, using Bubble, using Adalo, using Glide, and so many no-code tools out there, and you really forget to launch. You really forget the right way that you can launch. You should launch your application. So I'm going to be showing you. So this time we're going to be stepping outside, you know, move a little bit from coding, and we're just going to be going towards the real stuff, which is the marketing aspect aspect of it, which is getting users, getting people to use your platform. I mean, statistics have it that you have about 1.8 million uh, um, mobile application on the Apple Store alone, and you know people use Android more than Apple. So you have 1.8 million people, and we have only about 25 percent of the market using um, using Apple. Then you have about 73% of the market using Android. So you can imagine how many million applications you have. So if you're building your mobile app, you're building your application, and no one is coming, so you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Be it you code it or you don't code it, you're definitely going to lose. So here are the eight ways to launch your no-code application. Eight ways. Number one, you have to do your research. Don't go ahead and start building without doing your research. It is very important. In fact, this is the most important part of it. Your research can be your spouse. Your research can be your immediate environment. It could be on the internet. It could be, you know, it could just be as as, as a little as surfing Google and see what other persons are building. It could be you researching a competitor. You have to do your research. You have to, you know, wake up at night or anytime you like and just go ahead and say, this problem that I want to solve, this thing that I want to do, is there a right way to do it? Is there, is there a right way to do it? Do people really need it? You know, is it really a problem? You really have to do your research on that basics. Number two, you have to define what success means to you. What are you going to, what does success mean to you? Do you want people, do you want to go long term? Do you want to just, you know, get a few bucks? Do you want people to acquire it? What does success mean to you? What metrics are you going to be charging? What metrics are you going to be looking out for? Does um, sign up mean success to you? Does purchase look like success to you? What does success mean to you? If you are a company, what does success mean to your company? That's something that you want to, you want to look out for. Then number three, Consider, consider building cross-platform. The reason why is because people use different platforms and access the internet in different ways. Even though you have Android taking the lead and you have iOS, but there are lots of other ways that people access the internet. So if you're building something, probably, for example, I was, I'm building a budget in an application and I'm thinking, well, I think people are going to access it via Android. I think people are going to access it via iOS, and I think there are lots of other Play Stores. You know, HubSpot have their own Play Stores. Lots of other mobile have their own Play Stores. So you want to, you know, put your application on those Play Stores. Uh, and also, you can also build for the web. Google is one of the most used platform in the world. You can also build for the web if you have the if the if the no code tool that you're using allows you to build for the web. For example, if you're using Adalo, which I use, if you're using Adalo or you're using Bubble, you can build for the web. You can build for 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 mobile. Yeah. So you want to choose a tool that allows you to build for a, you know cross platform, so you can get customers from a mobile. You can get get customers from um. Uh, uh, from from Android, you can get customers from iOS, from lots of other platform. That's number three. Number four, you have to claim your social media account very early. You know, when you think about the business you want to start in your head, lots of persons have thought about the name. People are thinking about it immediately. So you have to claim your account early. Go to social media, put in those names on it, and claim it. So that when you become successful, you don't really have to struggle with claiming those names, you know, it's going to be very difficult because there are people on the internet who go ahead and buy those names, who go ahead and claim those names, and in the future, you have to claim it back, yeah, you have to get it back from them, and it's going to cost you a fortune, so you can claim things like your website, you can claim things like your LinkedIn handle, Twitter handle, Instagram handle, Facebook handle, any other handle that you think is necessary for your business to grow, you go ahead and claim it. That's number four. Number five, start creating content that your target audience will like. 
you know, number one, the first thing you did was to research. And when you research, you definitely look at people who are willing to buy from you, right? That's number one. Then number f- number um, number five, now you start creating content that those persons you've researched will like. If they like your content, they will sign up. If they sign up, then they will buy from you. So start creating content on social media, on your website, on your blog. You know, just start creating content like that. But one thing that you should look at, Create content where you will find your target audience. Don't create content everywhere. Create content where you find your target audience and you're going to be awesome. Then number six, record a demo of your product. You want to talk to a lot of people. You want to showcase your product to a lot of people. Record a demo. It could be a finished demo. It could be an MVP or it could just be something like this. You talking about your product. Find a way to record a demo of your product. It's very important. Number seven, launch a dedicated landing page. I can't ever emphasize this. Before you go ahead and start building your no-code application, before you put all the energy, all the work into it, launch a dedicated landing page. You know, it could just be something with a video on it. It's just be something, a page with a video on it with a with a mailing li- with a with a link to collect people's mails, with a link to a form, to a sheet to collect people's name, that works. Launch a dedicated landing page for your uh, application, for your app store, for the solution you're trying to solve, and share, share, share to your friends, as many friends as possible. And number eight, pitch your app. There are lots of hackathons going on. There are lots of pitch competitions going on. There are lots of things going on on the internet. There are lots of free opportunities for you to pitch your application. So you just go ahead and pitch your application. That's it. Go ahead and pitch your application. Apply for that grant. Apply for a lot of stuff. The more you pitch, sometimes you might not win, but you're going to get social media mentions. You're going to get newspaper mentions. That's one of the biggest benefits of pitching your applications because you're going to get mentions. You're going to get free PR from this person even though you might not win most of these competitions that you're going for. If you win, you're going to get a lot of money. But if you do not win, you're going to get social media mentions. And that's a whole lot of credit for you. So that's it. That's it. Remember I said, number one, do your research. Number two, define what success means to you. Number three, consider launching cross-platform. Number four, claim your social media account. Number five, create content. Number six, record a demo. Number, number seven, launch a dedicated page. Number eight, pitch your application as many times as possible. That's it. Go ahead and start bu- start launching your application and go ahead and start building your no-code application. I'll definitely, def- I'm definitely rooting for you all the way. Have a beautiful uh, uh, you know, business week ahead. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Twitter, um, Paul Okodua, at Paul Okodua, Paul underscore Okodua. Yeah, that's it. Or if you want to build your mobile app, you, f- you, f- you want to market, you want to you know, launch it, feel free to reach out to me for talks. And definitely, we'll have some good discussion and we'll see what we can take your mobile applications to. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.